Everyone knows the big name developers, that goes without saying. In today's more enlightened marketplace, even some of the smaller devs can have their devoted fans, houses like Chunsoft or Camelot or Compileheart or others that don't start with C. But this game, full of spherical birds of various colors, comes to us thanks to Felicity in Worcestershire and the previously unknown to me team at Bottom Up. That's their name. Bottom Up. Paints one heck of a picture, huh? A gander through their history shows that Bottom Up are responsible for a couple dozen releases between 1994 and 2000, but the only one available in the States is the respectable looking golf sim Tee Off for the Dreamcast. That was 99 though, years before this thing. And oh what a thing it is. Just look at this stuff. VS Collection is a compilation of four games, all featuring these kinda pseudo tofu penguinish things. The games each claim a different genre. There's a balloon fight ish head to head combat game, a Mode 7 tastic racing game that desperately tries to be Mario Kart, a frantic snowball fight, and a stack and sort puzzle game full of omelets. And yes, you can dust off your multi tap for this nonsense, for some of the games anyway. Unfortunately though, the only game I found to not have absolutely crap controls was the puzzle. It's fairly simple to maneuver your cursor, and you'll soon learn how to give yourself extra rows so you can maintain a stream of trouble on your opponent's stacks. The snowball fight would almost be playable if there were a bit more input. As it stands, all you can do is mash the fire button, maneuver up and down, and occasionally send your squad out to rush the enemy. Might have been a bit flip when I said the race desperately wanted to be Mario Kart, but the graphics play out almost identically. The controls just suck. In its defense though, it tries to innovate by offering the power to leap off the track and potentially cut corners, which comes in quite handy on this star-shaped track, though if you land outside the borders of the course you lose instantly. No convenient Lakitu teleport for you, sir. They couldn't afford to buy the rights from Nintendo, and I can't blame them. Finally, the Battle Royale with cheese. A four bird fracas where, if you haven't dispatched all of your foes inside 20 seconds, fire and brimstone rain down from the sky and make navigation right terrible. It wouldn't be that bad, only the controls are horrible to begin with and the physics aren't much better. All you can do is jump and miss with attacks, inevitably leading to your demise in the inky void below. Bomberman this ain't, but at least it allows for four players. And after enough rounds, this strange winged projectile spewing puffer fish shows up just to make an arse of himself. Even meteor strikes don't deter him. Strange winged projectile spewing puffer fish don't care. I wish I didn't either. <laughs>